Joao from Ausol. Tell us uh, why you're here and specifically what you're exhibiting today. Well, uh, Ausol is uh, a company which was founded in 98 and our main business is solar thermal energy and we have a, a very uh, in interest in the new products. All the products what we have are developed by us, patented by us. And we develop uh, technology in solar, which is called CPC, Compound Parabolic Concentrated Technology. And with this technology, we develop a solar hot water collector, which is this one behind me, and also another application. For instance, this one for UV uh, treatment, for uh, discontamination of uh, biodegradable or non-biodegradable um, uh, waste and using the UV radiation, the maximum UV radiation. Also, with our technology, we could have a very good efficiency in our collector at high temperatures. I'm calling it up to 120 degrees. And with this, we are also developing an absorption um, cooling machine to use our products in the, to, use, to make cool with our collectors. In fact, in our country, in almost South uh, European countries in, in North Africa, which is our main market right now for this cooling machine, we could have three in one. What water, eating space, and cooling space. With the excess of the, 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 the hot which, which we have in the summer, we could put uh, in our machine. And the technology you're producing, does it fit in well with Portugal's renewable energy goals and targets? Yes, well, right now we have a very ambitious program for domestic, just for domestic, which we are not yet in, the, in that program, but we believe that uh, we will be very recently in the next months, maybe in the program. And, uh, but they are uh, in our goal, we are in beyond domestic water water. And our goal is to go to the industry, which is a virgin market yet, and which we believe that uh, it will be the biggest market is the industry and service. At the moment, at the EU level, people are talking about uh, renewable technologies a lot, about greening the economy and so on. Do you think the EU's goals are ambitious enough as they stand, or could they go further? Well, I, I think the, the, the objectives for uh, two, 2020 are very ambitious. And, uh, of course, uh, it, I think it's enough ambitious. I, I don't believe if you put a very, very much bigger number in the figures, uh, maybe it's not uh, realized, it's utopic. And I think what is now in the, in the, in the discussion is very realistic. And in principle, in what the uh, um, European Commission wants to promote the climatization and the solar cooling in the buildings, this is our objective right now, and we are very, make a, a big effort in our R&D because this is a very potential, very, very big potential. Let's talk about transforming R&D into finished products on the market. How is Europe doing there? Some people say we're a little behind, for example, uh, the US developing large markets like um, China, India. Do you think that the EU should move faster in actually transforming research we have into finished market products? I, I think the European countries, Europe, are um, they have a very good advantage because we don't stop as the United States and of course we have now China we are very strong but they are doing what we did in the past and I think we, in Europe you have a lot of companies and institutions they are they have a lot of investigation which they not stop but they they, uh, they, they stop our walk in the past but now I think with m more support of uh, the community we think we could have a very nice product to export to China to produce, and is now the, the right time to put in practice what we developed before. And the EU's innovation policies, will, do you think they will be instrumental in making that change happen? Well, uh, <laughs> it's a good question, because one thing is what, um, what my personal opinion I think in Europe it's is we ha also still have a lot of different programs and some of the programs are financing the same things and more than one time I know they are a very object to, to concentrate in just one but I think uh, the information around the, 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 the different kinds of institutions they are financing 
indirectly by EU, EU, European Commission, should be more concentrated and more objective and don't disperse so much. Uh, we have here in Portugal, YAPMEI, uh, ADE, there are different, the tendency is to converge, but uh, until now there are a lot of companies and a lot of institutions. Uh, so more streamlining you think is what, what's needed? Yeah, it's, it's what's needed. Okay, Joao, thank you very much thank for speaking you. to us. Thank you.